Good evening. This is CTV News for Thursday, October 23rd. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Sonia Shavas. We're glad to have you with us tonight. Well, the general election is a few weeks away, but that doesn't mean voters have to wait until that date. Early voting in Maryland starts today, and CTV's Stephen Graves is at the Laurel Beltsville Senior Activity Center polling place with more. Well, I guess you could say it's a sign of the times. All of the political posters behind me can only mean one thing. Elections are here. And today starts early voting for residents to cast their ballots before those crowds on November 4th. And may I say, here in Laurel, we've seen a lot of people taking advantage of it. Shake it when they walk by. Supporters are out. Thank you for voting. No, Greeters are excited. And most importantly, residents are voting. You're welcome. See you. Up to at least 60 people so far and we haven't been open an hour yet. And there's reasons why. Residents are ditching those long lines and opting for an easier route they wouldn't have on election day. I got my vote in and I can relax when everybody else is uh, coming to the, uh, the uh, voting booth on election day. I've already made up my mind, so I might as well go in and vote. And this seems to be the mindset for many voters here today, like Florence Kenny, who is early voting for her second time, and she says she wouldn't have it any other way. No waiting. Just walk in, give your name, and get your card and vote. So this time, this is excellent. Just tell your name, and, and the individuals at the polling booths will give you all the information that you need in order for you to get your um, ballot to vote. And I encourage anybody who's, who's interested in early voting to please come out because we're here ready for you. There's at least one early voting center in each county in Maryland and here in Prince George's and Montgomery counties, residents have eight options to cast those ballots. Now, the early voting period lasts until October 30th. Reporting in Laurel, I'm Stephen Graves, CTV News. All right, thank you, Stephen. And here's a list of all of the early voting centers in Prince George's. If you are registered to vote in the county, you can do so at any of these locations from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., like Stephen said, until October the 30th. The general election is Tuesday, November the 4th. Well, it's safe to assume that Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown has at least one vote in the bag. Brown accompanied his daughter, Rebecca, who voted in her first general election today at the Sports and Learning Center in Landover. Rebecca, who is currently a student at the University of Maryland College Park says she's excited to vote for her dad and hopes other young people will too. I think it's very important because we always say that we want our voice to be heard and what better way to let our voices be heard than to vote. Some residents we spoke to say they don't like the negativity they've seen by both Brown and Republican candidate Larry Hogan. Something good to say don't say anything at all so and and I think um, sometimes in the quest for one to try to build themselves up they will put another down and I don't like that the truth of the matter is is as we uh, there is a lot of enthusiasm for that. I know that over the last 30 years, uh, there's been a general decline in voter participation, uh, but we sense uh, it's a, 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 a momentum, and I think you're going to see it tick up in this election. Meanwhile, Hogan is also in Prince George's today greeting voters at the Bowie Town Center. Well, the Washington Post is reporting that both gubernatorial candidates say they'll reconsider lowering the tolls on the ICC. Currently, passenger vehicles pay $4 each way to drive the entire stretch of the highway, which runs through Montgomery and Prince George's counties. While a drop in fares would be welcomed by motorists, some experts say it would be both politically and financially detrimental. A 2013 independent study for the Maryland Transportation Authority found that lowering the tolls um, would increase increased traffic, but not enough to uh, offset the overall loss of revenue. Well, a Prince George's sheriff's deputy shoots and kills a man after responding to a domestic violence call. The incident happened around 1 this morning in the 2300 block of Houston Street in Suitland. Two deputies responded to a 911 call for a domestic disturbance with a weapon. The suspect wasn't on scene. He, was, he had left the scene. So while they were there, they were talking to the female victim and the suspect returned. He became confrontational with the deputies and during the course of that confrontation, one of the deputies discharged their firearm and struck the uh, suspect. 
Now, the involved deputy is a four-year veteran assigned to the Domestic Violence Intervention Division. He is currently on administrative leave pending further investigation, as is the other deputy. Rumors about possible violence at a Largo based theme park are putting both school and police officials on guard. According to the Washington Post, the Suitland High School principal sent a text message to parents urging them not to send their children to Six Flags this weekend. The school leader stated that a big gang fight was planned in retaliation from a fight that broke out at the opening of Fright Fest last month. A 15 year old Duval High School student was placed in a medically induced coma from the incident. Police say although there is no substantiating evidence that another fight would occur, additional patrol officers or additional officers will patrol the area as a precautionary measure. Investigators are looking into similarities between two separate sexual assault cases that occurred a month apart in our area. According to the Post, police are not ready to definitively link the crimes together, but say there are some resemblances. Last month, a man assaulted a woman as she was walking on a trail in the 5100 block of Quincy Street in Bladensburg. The other incident occurred Monday evening in the 5800 block of Annapolis Road in Chevrolet. If you have any information that can help lead to an arrest in either case, call the Prince George's Police Department. That number is 301-772-4908. And you are watching CTV News. I'm Patricia Ballone. And I'm Sonia Shirvaswa.